Hey guys, and welcome back to Pokemon Red. In the last part, we beat the Viridian Gym after coming back from the Cinnabar Gym, just like immediately afterwards. So now, with our team, I have done no grinding or anything of the sort, because who needs grinding in this game? All I need is duplicated stat cre increasers. What? Daniel, what a surprise to see you here. So, you're going to Pokemon League? You collected all the badge is too? That's cool! And I'll whip you- uh, You don't get that freaking voice anymore, come on! <sighs> For that one word, you don't get that voice anymore. For that one word. Okay. He's gonna start off with his Pidgeot. <laughs> this still looks freaking stupid. I'm sorry. <sighs> I like Pidgeot. I just think that he looks freaking stupid in this game. <laughs> he just looks funny. Okay. Anyway. Uh, go ahead and hit him with pretty much anything special and powerful against a flying type, and he'll go down. Rhyhorn is up next. Rathian is coming out. And just like always, you know, weak against special. So, anything special, we'll die. Or we'll kill him. We'll make him die. Whatever. He's honestly not that tough. He's really not. It's just the thing is, he's got some high-level Pokemon. He's really been grinding a lot. Either that or he's been using the glitch to kind of cheat his way to get these levels. Because really, I don't know where you'd get this high level from. Not a team of six? I have no clue how you'd get a team of six this high level to this early. I mean, I know we beat all the eight gyms, but still. I mean, you've seen me. I stretch my HP around for everybody, and I'm still nowhere near these kind of levels. And man, his eggs use level 47. Uh, I'm going to stay in and just hit it with Ice Beam because I can take it out, I think. Uh, nope. Okay, not quite. Oh, Stun Spore. Crap. All right, well, let's see. Oh, man, that's what he loves to do. That's what Executes just do in this game. They love to status inflict and then hit you with Leech Seed. It's really aggravating. Watch out for Executes. Um, Alakazam. Uh, we have an Alakazam counter right here, so why don't we go ahead and use him? <laughs> oh, Alakazam. Oh, jeez, level 50? Man. I can take him. Oh no, I didn't want to use Leer! Oh! I didn't want to use Leer! Oh, why did I do that? Oh, I didn't mean to. Oh, fine. Okay, fine. You know what? I'll, I'll, I can de I can deal with that. Alright. That was my mistake. My mistake. Ow! Critical hit. Oh man. Man, Mr. Norris got a taste of his own medicine. I'm sorry about that, Mr. Norris. Alright. Get out there, Sandman. You can do it. Let's hypnosis him. Oh, Psybeam now? Oh, okay. Whatever. Maybe trying to get some confusion on me. Oh, come on! Yeah, that's what he's going for. It's like the that's like one of the smarter moves I've seen the AI make. Thank you. There we go. So now that he's asleep, I can just headbutt him. Okay, thank you for not waking up immediately. Uh, because he put up Reflect, he's not going to be taking a whole ton of damage, but he is still pretty weak to physical attacks, so won't be a problem. Uh, as long as he doesn't heal him, that is. But I'm pretty sure that uh, Gary doesn't really ever heal his Pokemon, and there we go. Okay, so one casualty versus his uh, five. <laughs> and that was because I sent out something that is clearly weak, and I made a misclick. And man, his last one is level 53! Oh! 53, man! That's just not necessary. He's been power leveling. I don't know why... I don't know why they made him... Oh, oh, okay, Skull Bash. Oh no, I'm so scared of a move that will literally let me win. Ugh. Anyway, Blastoise is dead. Okay. Oh man, we didn't level up. I thought I thought for sure I'd level up there. What?! I was just careless. Yeah, I swear, I swear, you don't get the voice anymore. That loosened me up. I'm ready for Pokemon League. All right, I don't need more practice. I just beat the frick out of you, you stupid person that said the the word that should never be said. Oh. Okay. So, uh, if you come out this way before now, you can't really do anything because uh, you need all the badges to get through here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use a Max Revive. I'm going to go ahead and use my portable Pokemon Center to heal up. This is going to be really nice, because I'll be able to just waltz through everything, and I won't need to worry about, well, anything. Okay, heal that paralysis. I use a full restore to heal one little paralysis. Ah, uh, 
I love having all these items. <laughs> I don't freaking care. Okay, let's do it. Alright. Oh, is that, that is the boulder badge. Go right ahead. Okay, so every time you have a badge... Oh, and I love this music. This is one of my favorite songs in the game. Here, I'll just let you listen to it. I don't know why, I just love this music. This is just great stuff right here. But anyway, uh, you're gonna need some HMs to get through here. You're, I, well actually not some, you're just gonna need surf. And hey look, a swimmer. <laughs> they actually employ a bikini clad woman to sit in the water here and wait for trainers to present the soul badge. That, oh and another one, wow. <laughs> All right, yeah, the marsh badge, okay. Da -na -na -na, we have the marsh badge. And I'm pretty sure that there's no Pokemon in here unless you like fish, and even then you might not find any. But there are Pokemon in this grass here. If you want to grind here, you can. They're pretty high level, so watch out. Volcano badge, yes, yes. Okay. Um, was the last badge that we just got the Earth badge? I actually kind of forgot in the one video time that it took to get here. Let's see. Okay, yeah, the Earth badge. Okay, so I didn't really forget. I just kind of wanted to make sure... And this is Victory Road Gate, Pokemon League. Let's do it. Okay. Ugh. Max Repel time. Oh, I want I Can I get rid of that? Hey, here, wait. Let's drop this. I don't need the Survive. It is worthless to me. I also don't need Fisher. So, it is worthless to me. Okay, so drop Fisher. I don't care. Alright. So now, um, when you're in here... You're going to be finding a lot of pretty high-level Pokemon. They're all going to be, like, rock and ground type. So if you want to grind here, you're going to want things that are either fighting type or, you know, a special type. Or a special type. You know, like, uh, water or grass. So you're going to need one of those if you want to get through here easily with a Max Repel. Now, if you want to get through here, here even easier, you can just send out something, you can have your highest level Pokemon at the front lines. Because that way, you'll run into absolutely nothing. But I don't really mind getting in a wild Pokemon battle every now and then if I can just take it out with one little hit. You know, just like that. But, just for the sake of getting through these puzzles faster, I am going to swap to Charizard. Don't worry. Okay. So there's that. Uh, we're gonna need, you're gonna need strength in here, although I don't think you need flash. I'm praying that I don't need flash in here, because I really do not want to have to deal with this with flash. So, yeah. I really wish that they would just drop flash altogether, because honestly, I hate flash. It's just so, it's so inconvenient of a move, because you n almost never use it in battle. You know, I mean, it's a, it's really a useful move in battle because it's basically sand attack with that, you know, it just reduces accuracy. That's not a bad thing to have, but even when I have it, I never find myself using it. But, oh well. They've chosen to keep it, but it's not really, it's not usually an HM anymore. Now, <sighs> up here, we have a pair of items. Now, when you go through here, you're going to have to make a choice of one or two. So, you have to push it in front of one item to get the other. Um, I believe that one is... I believe this one over here is a full restore, and this one is an, a TM. So, I'm going to go for the full restore, because that will save H... Okay, no, it's a rare candy. Alright, my bad. Because... Um, um, I was going to go for the full restore, just because it would be something I could pick up and not take up inventory space. Um, not gonna use it. Uh, let's get, let's fight this chick. I wonder if you're good enough for, good enough for me. Well, I don't know. Maybe I am. Oh, definitely, yeah, I am way, I am too good for you. Oh, hey, Persian. Okay, that, that's kind of cool. Persian's cool, I'll give you that. Persian, uh, alright. That, you're not so bad, but still, you have a whip, so, you are instantly in the, you're, you, you lost points. 
for the whip. So even though you have a Persian, um, you're you're still kind of no, <laughs> and a nine tails. Um, let's see. Um, I'm gonna get Rambi. Let's test out. Ra let's throw Rambi out there for a test drive. He's gonna totally destroy this thing, but let's just watch and enjoy. Okay, so earthquake. Aha! Uh -huh, you fail. It's gonna die. It's it's so dead. It can't live through this. Nothing can live through Rambi's earthquake. Nothing at all. Um, I wonder. I'm probably just gonna go like, um, the Elite Four. That's what we're basically coming to do here. We're coming to fight the Elite Four, which are basically just four back-to-back -back bosses. There's healing in between each battle, though, of course. So. What? I didn't move! I so didn't move! Ugh. Okay. Back to the Elite Four. We're basically coming here to fight the Elite Four, which are four back-to-back -back bosses, like I just said. Now, what most people would do in a playthrough like this, or, you know, just an LP like this, they'll get through Rock... Er, rock Tunnel. Pfft, um, Victory Road, and... You know, they'll go grind off screen to get to, like, level 46 or something. I think, honestly, I'm just going to go through with the levels that I have now, or just whatever levels that I'm at when I beat Victory Road. Because, honestly, it's doable in this generation. Oh, Thunder Punch. No thanks, I got Thunder Bolt. I don't need no freaking Thunder Punch. Uh, Thunder Punch is 100% um, accurate and um, 75 base power. It's not a bad move, it's just that, you know, I have... Thunderbolt, and it's same accuracy and just more powerful, so there's not really much point in um, getting Thunder Punch. Anyway, um, Charmeleon, I think this guy's gonna finish off with a Charizard, which is cool, because I think it's the only time you ever see a Charizard in battle if um, you or Gary didn't get it. So that's kind of cool. Um, or, or does he have a Charizard? Yeah, he does. Okay, that's cool. I wish, I wish you could see all the starters throughout the game, but I think this is honestly the only one that you ever see if you don't, um, if neither you nor Gary get him. So, um, if you're having trouble with your Pokedex, that's something you could actually use to your advantage. Like, if you're trying to at least see all the Pokemon, you could, um, get Squirtle, and then he'll get, um... If you get Squirtle, he'll get Bulbasaur, and then you'll see Charmander, Charmeleon, and Charizard. So that'd be cool. Alright. I had a whip! Yes, you did. And now I was not happy with the fact that you had a whip. Um. Okay. More strength puzzles! Not bad, I don't really care. But after this one, I'm probably gonna have to end it off, just because you know how slow you push the boulders. But, um, just... Oh, pff, come on. Item. Freaking Max Repel. Thank you. Not again. Uh, Pokemon. Let's get... Um, Rathian again, sure. Because I'm, now I'm just trying to get everybody to level 42, and he's he'll easily get to level 42 in here. Just pretty much send him against anything, and he'll, he'll steamroll it. Um, just north of here... <gasps> what is that? It's a bird! A bird in a game! Ugh. Alright, yeah, yeah, the final test for trainers. Oh, crap, I forgot to end the video off, but... Oh, well. I'll end it off after this fight. Okay. Oh, he's got three. Crap. Alright, well... Whatever. I can deal. I can deal. <sighs> Pretty much just got nothing left to do here. I mean, this is... This went by quick. I mean, man... I didn't. I knew it wasn't gonna last that long. It's honestly kind of a short game if you know what you're doing and you have a good team and you don't have much trouble with fighting. But this went by really quick, man. This barely lasted a month, just barely. There's not gonna be many more parts. There's gonna be like three or four or five, five at most. Oh well, wait. There are. There is gonna be a couple of uh, bonus episodes. Or maybe just one, I don't know. Maybe I'll make the whole Mewtwo thing the, you know, an actual episode. I probably will, but yeah. Um, another Seismic Toss. That's kind of an aggravating attack at this point in the game, because normally, like, you saw Machoke. 
Machoke, his evolved form hit me, hit me with Karate Chop, and it did less than his freaking Seismic Toss, which is kind of annoying. I mean, I wish that they didn't use it so often, because that way you could still take less damage. But it doesn't really matter at this point, considering, you know, I have a... I basically have a portable Pokemon Center in my backpack. <laughs> Good ol' missing number. I love abusing his powers. It'd be kind of interesting if that's if something like that existed in real life, that you could literally just duplicate items for free. Any item. Any item at all. It could be like a freaking solid gold bar. That would be amazing. Okay, so... Now that we're here in Victory Road and we've made a little bit of progress into the cave, we're going to go ahead and end it off. And in the next part, we'll continue through Victory Road and see what we can find and if we can get any birds in our balls. So see you guys then.